Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to create your own camera room or camera switching system. Well, let's just demonstrate it. No need to explain. Alright, you can see that I'm in front of the TV that shows camera that's somewhere in that corner of the room and it's possible actually showing me, but I am a bit too far. Let's try to switch the channel. I have a different angle from this room, so let's try it one more time. And now you can actually even see me moving my hands because camera is basically there. And I can also see it as sort of a mini map or just a map and switch it again and again and again like we're in front of your own TV and don't wanna stand up. Alright, with this tutorial I am using VR expansion plugin, so make sure that you have it installed. If you don't, I have video tutorial where you can get it. Well, let's get to it. This tutorial is pretty much a follow-up on tutorial I did last week, how to create map for your VR games. So if you haven't watched it, I would probably recommend you to do that first. You can follow this one even without it, but it will be much easier for you to watch that first one first. But you can of course do this one even without watching it. Let's go into folder widgets, open it and we will create here few new stuff. First of all, we will need to create completely new blueprint and let's call, uh, let's let it be actor and let's call it camera underscore zero one, open it and let's simply put here camera and let's set it as our default scene root and we will add here to the scene capture component and let's put it somewhere in the game. Let's say that I want that camera to be here, but it's not everything. I want also this camera to look at everything that's happening around it and kind of rotate like this. So we'll simply set it up by going into event graph, taking our camera and after event begin play we will want to use move to move component 2. Our component will be obviously camera. Move everything else elsewhere. Then let's take our camera and we will get world transfer. Oh no, my bad, sorry will get a relative transform and from here let's take our return value and split structure pin location leave to location and we will change just our rotation so let's split it again split structure pin on both sides and let's say that i want to rotate it along z axis i believe so let's test it here I want to rotate it along, yes, this blue one, which is always Z. You can see it changing on the right. Let's set it to something like this. Compile, that's fine. So what we will do is comp connect X and Y and with Z we will simply set it to plus, float plus float and connect it right here. So let's say that I want to move it about 60 degrees on Z axis and time should be two seconds. That's maybe still a bit too fast, but we will manage that. All right, but then I of course want it to move again. So I will put here short delay, about one second. So for one second it won't do anything. Then let's copy all that, paste it right here. And we will simply put here minus, so it will get back to its original location. And after that will be done, let's let it move again. So connect it back here into move. So we have here this wonderful circle of forever rotating camera. And because one camera is never enough, let's duplicate it. Camera 02 sounds about right. And let's put it... Oh, okay, I cannot move the previous camera. Let's put it here. Uh, rotate it a bit, so it's looking down on something. And it should still rotate as previous one. So this one looks actually like a real surveillance camera. And we will add here another one that will be just static. So duplicate camera 03, open it and let's delete all that because I want this one to just casually be there. Let's move that third one about here. So we have set up three different cameras, four actually, but you don't know about the fourth one yet. Shh. Press the like button if you want to know. So now we actually need to store and cache all pictures from the, these cameras. And for that we will need these map targets. So let's duplicate them. The original one is for map that I have created in the previous tutorial. So let's just duplicate it. Call it 01 because we will follow this naming conventions of cameras. And do it again. 02. Unreal just called what we want to do. And is doing that for us. So we have three more. Let's click on camera 01 and under scene capture component, let's simply put here our texture target 01 
on camera zero two. Let's put here on texture target two. And with zero three, let's do the same thing. Map target zero three. And you can already see that it's catching our cameras. All right, now we need to also copy this material that I've created previously, which is basically just a regular material that where I have set master domain to user interface from regular surface. So let's just duplicate it and call it zero one. Now, if you open it, let's switch here our map target to map target zero one. And it will, of course, take a while. So let's, in the meantime, Duplicate other ones and make sure that with 0, 02 we'll set it to actually 0, 02 and 0, 03 as you would guess 0, 02, 0, 03. All right, and it's getting here a bit messy, so let's create a new folder and we will call that materials and let's simply store there all the materials and all the targets. Targets are pretty much like a material. Well, they are not, but I want to get rid of them, so let's put them there. And we will take map hut and duplicate it. And let's call it camera underscore hud underscore zero one. In case that you haven't followed previous tutorial, it's super simple hut. The only thing I've added here is an image right here. And on that, you will have to apply and brush image that map material. So I will show it to you in our camera 01, which I've created right here. It's just an image with a button in it, but we will get rid of that button. We don't want it this time around. That was just a point that should indicate where the player is. You don't need it in your camera. It would actually look pretty bad. And simply on this image, let's click on map material and put it into map material 01. Compile. And let's do the same thing for 02 and 03. Again, duplicate, put here 0, 02, pile, and duplicate again, and 0, 03. So now you should have three different HUD materials that shows you angles of these cameras. Or you have four like me with a map HUD. So now let's actually put this all in one object that we can look at in the game. Let's right click and create a new blueprint. That blueprint should be called TV underscore BP, or you know what, let's call it camera room and what we'll simply put here is widget and that widget we will set in widget class right here to our camera 01 let's start with that you can already see that it does something by the way if you see that your image is in such a low resolution as mine it's set up right here in materials in one of those targets in material 01 you can see it right here I had to set it to 256 because I'm recording a recording on notebook that doesn't really like if this is too high because it can get pretty performance heavy, especially if you have a lot of them. So generally try not to use too much of them if you need to have them in high resolution. And now when we have this, we can simply put it in VR and do -do -do, camera BP and it's way too big. Look at that. And it also has pretty weird resolution. What the hell? It's not cube. We want it cubical. So let's click back on that widget and set draw size to 1000 times 1000. That should fix it a bit. No, it still looks the same. Maybe I just don't see it properly. But now if you had it deformed in any case, just uh, change the draw size, that should fix it. So I will simply rotate it about 90 degree. Scale it down a bit. Because I don't want to have such a huge TV, electricity bill would be insane. And let's put it on this wall and see how it looks in VR. It should be much closer to the wall, but let's ignore that. And if you look there, you can see that camera is somewhere there. You can probably even see myself waving. Now it's too low res for it. Now oh, maybe you can see a bit of a red there. But now you are probably asking, why the hell do we have so many cameras there if you are showing only one? Well, I am glad you asked, my friend. I asked, not you. Just if you wanted to take credit or something. We will set up here a system that will allow you to switch between those cameras by pressing the button. So you have a real camera room. Let's go into edit camera room. And we will go into viewport. And add here VR button, which is one of the huge advantages of VR expansion plugin. Let's right click on it and that VR button should be set to, of course, button top. If you have your own assets, feel free to use them. And let's add here one more component that should be static mesh. 
and make sure that it's not attached to VR button. We just want to attach it to widget and set it to our button, bottom, our base. And I personally prefer to scale it up a bit so it looks a bit better. All right, then you can see that it's here in the game, maybe a bit too high, we will see. So now let's see how we can change that. We will simply go into VR button, scroll right, scroll down, and we should have here on button state change. Let's click on it. And once that will happen, we will create widget. From here, we will actually right click on class and promote it to variable. Now delete that variable, compile it all. So let's click right on that variable and put it into array, compile, hope that your engine won't crash. All right, sorry about that, Unreal actually crashed for me, so make sure that you save all before doing that. That seems like a bug in newest version of Unreal. And let's try to do that again, promote it to variable, close it all, make sure that you have actually really saved everything. That was too... N and now try to convert it to, variable, uh, to array. All right, seems fine just works sometimes it just works sometimes it just doesn't work and now let's take that array and call it list of camera file and we will simply add here those cameras click on plus button and add here camera hat 01 other one should be camera hat 02 camera hat 03 these are all from this tutorial and if i if you also want to have that map Add here map head from pre map head from previous tutorial. So we will here create widget, and that widget should take what kind of class it will create from our array. We will get a copy of our array, and we also now need to figure out which of these cameras it should use. We have four different elements in here, so we will need to make sure that it actually uses the one we want. We will promote the variable integer that uh, chooses which one it should be. Let's call it current camera. And we will do simple trick. By default, it's set to zero. So for the first time, it will switch it to camera hat zero one. Also make sure that you actually apply it to this widget and not just create it. So we will take widget from here, set it, set widget, and convert and connect it here you don't need to convert anything so now it would every time spawn on the first one so this array would be quite useless what we will simply do is to take our current camera once you will select the first one it will add something to it we will use increment int so it will add on the one that's just a shortcut to do current camera plus one and after that we also want to do branch to check and make sure that our current camera is is lower than three or actually four if you wanted to put here three you need to have uh, lower or equal to and i have only lower so let me do this one or just change it up to you make sure that you connect it so if it is lower than four it's true don't do anything you are fine like you are but if it's false we want to take our current camera and set it to zero again so it will go back to our list of cameras zero so now every time you press that button it will take camera from that list the number of that camera will be will be chosen right here from this variable and that variable will be after each choosing did want to unless it is four in that case it will go back from the start and we can make it a bit easier let's let's put it all in the function we should be able to do that all right right click on everything and collapse it to function let's let's call that function choose camera or just choosing camera i prefer to name my functions like that all up to you of course and let's see if it all actually works in the game all right standing right in front of it and let's try to push that button you can see that it switched to different camera let's try it again switched again to that first stand one and you can all actually even see yourself in that camera hooray now this is our map camera and do it again and again and again 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 okay do it one more time <laughs> Now you have your camera room. If you want, you can create here as many windows and PCs as you want. So you can really have proper camera room and then not just this switcher. It's probably not the best idea to have this on all the time. So you can set up here a collision or something that it works only when the player is near because you don't need this to run on the background and it would if you don't do anything about it. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, feel free to join the Discord, talk with other developers and, and share with us VR game you are working on. Well, Surfancy out.